I voted today. I live in California and I have voted by mail for probably 10 years, but this is the earliest that I've ever done it. And why? Because I was afraid that my ballot wouldn't get counted. I thought about going to vote in person. I thought about dropping it off. Do I mail it? Do I trust the post office? What happens if they reject my signature for some reason? All of these thoughts of fear because it's important to me to vote. And I know it's important to people all over the country because some people are waiting hours and hours in line to get their vote cast. There is no better topic than politics and voting to strike up some fear in people right now. From as simple as the fears I talked about, how do I make sure my vote gets counted, to bigger fears about what happens if the guy I don't want to wins. There's a lot of fear in the air right now. And it fits well in the theme of this month, which is talking about fear. Up until this point, I've been talking about the kind of fear that arises when you're thinking about taking an action forward in your life. When you know there's something you want or something you feel called for, something you know would improve your life, but you haven't been doing it. Oftentimes, that's because there's some fear about what that action might mean and what might happen if you take it. What I'm talking about today, though, is a different kind of fear. It's the kind of fear that's in the air. And there's always fear in the air. Look at advertising. And if you take a critical, close look at most advertising, there's a sense of fear or lack, like you're missing something in your life. And if you get this thing in your life, then your life will be better. Well, that taps into that same element of fear. Just like voting, just like politics, just like coronavirus and all the uncertainty around it, it is everywhere around us. It reminds me of a great quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, all the water in the world can't drown you unless it gets inside of you. It's the same thing with fear right now. There is a lot of fear and uncertainty in the world. What's happening with the increasing cases in the virus? What's happening in the political world? There's a lot of, well, even what are you going to do for the holidays? Can you see your family? There is a lot of uncertainty and fear in the world. And the question is, do you let it get inside you? I'm going to give you a tool that you can use to prevent that kind of fear from taking over your life. And it's very simple. Like many of the tools that I share with you, it's simple, but it's not easy to apply. And the simple tool is this, to focus on what you can control as opposed to what you cannot control. You cannot control who wins the election. You cannot control what happens with coronavirus. There are many things you cannot control, but you can control what you do. You can control whether you vote, when you vote. You can control whether you wear a mask, whether you see other people, how if you social distance, all of those things are within your control. So you focus on what you can control and you let the universe, God, fate take care of the rest. So I offer you that tool this week to employ because there is a lot of uncertainty and it's ramping up the closer and closer we get to the election. So just focus on what you can control and if nothing else, find something in your day that gives you a sense of light and hope and go in that direction. Have a great week.